Hey everybody, this is a shadow box bringing you some more FSX FS passengers. How are you doing today? Really hope you're doing it half as good as I am because I'm feeling great. All right. Um today we are going to be flying a VFR flight from Kalamazoo International Airport to Chicago O'Hare International Airport at the request of Smouts 23. So, thanks for your suggestion, Smouts. Uh, hope you enjoy this flight in particular. And uh, without any further ado, let's go ahead and start our boarding. Altimeter. I still can't believe how nice this plane looks. Carinado did a really great job with the model and with the interior model as well. Oh, FSX didn't do quite a, as good a job with the camera. I can clip through the jetways. All right. 15 seconds left for boarding. I didn't realize it would take two minutes for two people to board. But uh, we've got our clearance for taxi good to go as soon as we shut the doors. We're just doing a VFR flight, low altitude airways, cruising altitude of about 6,000 feet. So, uh, we've got some nice weather. Um, pretty great day for flying. too fast on the taxi. This prop has a lot of power, I'll tell you that. And this is actually the third time I've tried to record this video. Uh, first time, I entered the runway and couldn't figure out why it was such a long takeoff roll, and then figured out that I had neglected to set the prop pitch to 100%. It was actually almost feathered. So, uh, yeah, that explained that. And then the second time, uh, my right to disc frame rate just died. It was at about 7. So, uh, yeah, there was no way I was going to make you guys sit through 7 frames per second for a video. So, running at about 30 now. So hopefully it'll stay that way, though uh, we are flying into Chicago, uh, which is pretty, uh, heavy, hev it's a dense area. There we go. Learn to talk a shadow box. All right. So uh, our brake failure has been repaired, and we are cleared to fly. The brake repair failure was $6,000, and our last flight to Kalamazoo, we only made $3,000. So 
was a bit of a loss, but after this flight, we should break even on that. And uh, for the, I might do a few flights off screen, but for the next video, we will have a new plane. Um, I'm not entirely sure what it will be because I need to increase my pilot's rank before I can really get anything super cool. But, uh, yeah. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I am starting a Farming Simulator single-player series and hopefully a multiplayer series soon, depending on if I can get someone willing to play with me or not. But uh, there's that series, there's FSX, and I'm debating another series that I might add to the channel. Not entirely sure what. Um, I tried Euro Truck Sim 2, but uh, my frame rates are not that good for it, uh, even when I'm not recording, I'm sticking around 20-25 frames a second, so, yeah. I think I need to reinstall my Rex textures because, I don't know, I'm not very happy with my texture quality right now, especially the water, though I might have fixed that. I haven't seen it since I attempted to fix it, so I guess we'll see because a large portion of this flight will be over Lake Michigan. What's going on? 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 Is my plane automatically... Whoa. I think the autopilot was... Why is that on? I didn't do that. At least I didn't mean to. Oh, that was an eventful takeoff. Thankfully we didn't die, we didn't overstress the plane, and our passengers are still alright, so I guess you can consider it a good takeoff. Let's go ahead and adjust our prop pitch slightly, so we stay in the green on the RPM. Uh, we'll go ahead and trim out the aircraft. Come on, trim out for climb. What are we climbing at? Just under 5,000. Let's go ahead and hold... Eh, or not 5,000, 500. Did we pull in the flaps? We did. I don't think I pulled up the landing gear, though. I did not. Hopefully we didn't overstress the landing gear. Kinda got a little flustered when my plane just started banking left as soon as the wheels got off the ground. Wow. Let's go ahead and hold that pitch. Our altitude is 6,000 feet. Flying over West Michigan. Beautiful plane. Yep, Rockwell Commander. I was right. Mm. Let's not do a flight following, because then it's just going to be a bunch of ATC handoffs, and that's going to get annoying when we use time acceleration. You know. Yeah. 
I got some comments saying people would like to see the entire flight. Well, uh, I don't have the hard drive space to record an entire flight without using time acceleration, so this is the compromise. Can we play any in- can we do any in-flight services? No crew aboard. So? No crew aboard. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but that just brought up another menu. And, uh, I hope that didn't interrupt the video at all. It says I'm still recording. Um. Soup? Nope. Sandwiches? Nope. In flight movie? Nope. Just a lot of nope. That's unfortunate. Coming up on 6,000 feet here, so we'll go from a pitch hold to an altitude hold. There's no uh, altitude bug to set your altitude, so it'll just, uh, you, you get to your desired altitude and then hit the altitude hold and the autopilot will take care of it. We are using uh, VFR and GPS flight rules. So uh, that's why I'm not fiddling with the radios or with the uh, OBSs or any of that. Just going off of the GPS. It's a pretty small, or not small, it's a pretty short flight. So, uh, yeah. Looks like my water texture uh, was somewhat fixed anyway. I won't say totally fixed because it doesn't look totally fixed, but. Oh, getting some lag spikes. Frame rate dying, frame rate dying. Hmm. I don't know what's causing these frame rate spikes. It's probably the fact that uh, we're in time acceleration. So, yeah. Why don't we go ahead and take ourselves out of time acceleration then and see if that helps. I really hope I don't start getting those frame rate problems I was getting before. Trying to get back on course here. Alright guys, well, uh, there's no weather, there's not a lot of traffic. We're going to be mostly flying over the lake, so uh, I think I will go ahead and actually cut the video here, especially because uh, 
getting those frame rate issues. This will give me a chance to try to sort that out. Um, I'll bring you guys back when we're coming in for approach at uh, Chicago O'Hare International Airport. See you in a second. Hey guys, welcome back. As you can see, we are approaching Chicago. So we're going to go ahead and start decreasing our altitude. We'll take off the altitude hold, uh, trim the plane down, reduce throttle, and uh, we, we don't want to descend more than 1,000 feet per minute. Otherwise our passengers might get a little uncomfortable. Trim down, please. Ah, oh, that's good. Hold that pitch. Let's go ahead and tune Chicago O'Hare International Airport. Nope, that's Chicago Midway. Whoa. See Chicago O'Hare. O'Hare Tower Alpha Sierra Alpha Four Four is two one miles east with Lima to land. Alpha Sierra Alpha Four Four O'Hare Tower entered right base runway three two right altimeter two nine nine seven. Flight right base runway three two right Alpha Sierra Alpha Four Four. Wow, we've got some strong winds. We're crabbing. All right, let's switch to, we're going to runway 32. So we need runway two, th or we need heading two, three for our base. Let's switch to heading hold. Nope, heading hold. And pitch hold? Can't hold heading and pitch at the same time, apparently. Weird. I think our compass is slightly off. Nav. Two. Nav. Hmm. Let's see. Yes, our compass. Our heading indicator is way off. Which is a result of time acceleration. Let's see. According to our GPS, we are on heading, and this is actually about where we are. That's about right. We're gonna fly right over downtown Chicago. Well, Smouts 23, I hope this is what you wanted to see. Nice lakefront approach into downtown Chicago. I think you can go wrong with that, right? Our frame rates are doing all right. We are looking good. Mm, 
let's go about heading 280, roughly. We're going to get down to about 2,000 feet, and uh, I'll hold altitude there until we get established on the localizer. Once we're established on the localizer, I will manually fly the plane in, and uh, hopefully everything will go according to plan. But yeah, I'm really enjoying FS Passengers compared to Air Hauler. Um, I just like being able to pick exactly where we're flying. And uh, I think they handle aircraft management and purchasing a lot better than Air Hauler does. Um, Air Hauler's still a good add-on, and I don't regret that series in any way. But uh, I'm personally, I'm just enjoying FS Passengers more. But, I just realized I need a new graphic for FS Passengers. I had my graphic for Air Hauler, but, uh, that won't really work for this, will it? Especially because that was a Global Freightway 747, and, uh, I don't think passengers will want to fly in a Global Freightways plane. Let's go ahead and, uh, cut our speed. We are approaching the airport. Uh, there's a frame rate hit here because we are rendering in the density of the airport. Once most of the airport is loaded in, our frame rate should go back up. There we are. If you zoom in, if you have 65x binoculars, you can see our plane <laughs> from the airport. Oh. All right, we are right at the threshold for dropping flaps. So let's go ahead and drop flaps one. Runway is in sight. Alpha Sierra, Alpha Four, Four, cleared to land. Runway three, two, right. Cleared to land. Runway three, two, right. Alpha Sierra, Alpha Four, Four. I disengaged autopilot a little bit early just because uh, I want to actually feel how the plane is flying in response to the gear coming down and the flaps coming down. Uh, sorry if you heard that, that was a truck passing by outside the dorm. But, uh, anyway, there's the runway. Seems to me we're 
gonna do just fine. Coming in probably a little fast. I don't see a localizer on this runway. This is all visual. Or er, sorry, not not localizer. Pappy lights. Oh, you guys are probably screaming at me. <laughs> you don't use a localizer on VFR approaches. Oh, da, da, da. Oh, I meant pappy lights. I'm sorry. little disappointed that uh, frame rate hasn't really recovered all that much. Still getting around 20. I'd like to get 30. But still flyable. Coming in a bit high. Now here's a concept for approach that I never really understood. It said that you use your throttle to control your altitude and your pitch to control your speed. I mean it makes sense in concept but I've never been able to practically pull it off really. I've, you know, besides adjusting your uh rate of descent or rate of climb, vertical speed. Speaking of vertical speed, coming in a little too hard. And when I say a little, I mean a lot. I should be coming in about a fifth of the speed I'm coming in. But we have plenty of runway to glide down. No failures this time. Alpha clear, Alpha four four. Exit runway when able. We're actually going to go right. There we are, safe and sound. Alright, let's taxi over to parking. I wish I had an airport diagram of Chicago, so then I would know exactly where I'm going. I could use, you know, progressive taxi, but I don't really want to. And uh, GSX, while it's a great add-on, and you know, it can dispatch the follow me car in order for you to follow it, um, it doesn't always go to where ATC has assigned you to go. Well, at least it doesn't take you to the exact spot. So which way does it... I've, I suspected as much, but I didn't know if there was a, another parking area across the runway or not. But I guess we should see exactly where ATC wants us to park.
I wish they would actually tell you, you know, parking spot, yada yada, so then I can tell that to GSX and they can send the follow me car. But, as we all know, FSX's default ATC is very limited, and I can't afford radar contact or any other overhauls. Whoops, that's not what I meant. Questy boarding. Oh, hello, truck. I didn't see you there. We need a bus for the passengers. Bus? Bus? Oh, is that him? Hope that's him, but in the meantime, you guys can get out. On the bright side, for once, your baggage might actually beat you to the baggage claim. Or is that our bus? I think that's our bus. I think that's another bus. It's more of a van. Jet aviation. Now this is a single engine prop plane. Yeah, pick up the passengers, please. Because I unceremoniously kicked them out. Deboarding completed. Yay, successful flight. All right, that is it for this flight from Kalamazoo to Chicago. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, please join me next time. Uh, I will be taking suggestions on where to go next, as usual. And uh, hopefully, we will be in a new plane, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, I'm A Shadowbox. This is FSX FS Passengers. Have a good one, guys.